Peggy 18. Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the video on Assassin's Creed Rogue. And today we've got a brand new trailer, which is the story trailer. So uh, I'm going to stop this regular intervals and talk about some stuff in the trailer, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's get this thing started. So I first off want to start this here because this is obviously Shay in his assassin attire, which does look pretty sweet. Uh, he's got a big long coat, he's got his hood up, which looks pretty cool. I wonder if this is an option to play as when you've like finished the game or during the game, whether you can put this outfit back on. Or possibly some sort of unlockable, maybe, who knows, I don't know. Uh, I think at this point he is either in the frontier area or he's in New York. It does look very similar to one of those areas. Kind of like the beginning of Assassin's Creed 3 when Hatham goes into that uh, pub sort of place. It reminds me of that kind of area. But yeah, this is uh, Shay as an assassin and that's how it starts off. Uh, and, he, and he looks pretty badass. Shay was an assassin. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. He was a friend, a brother. What did I miss? Only the first... So this part here kind of shows a few of the new characters. So we've got Shay in the center, who is the uh, main sort of point of this shot. On the right, we've got two characters. I'm not sure who the guy on the right is. It might be uh, Shay's friend. Then there's a woman um, slightly to the left of that man. And then behind Shay, we see a Native American, uh, similar to the tribe in Assassin's Creed 3 that Connor came from. So could that be mean possibly we're sort of integrating with those guys again? Maybe that's how he learned how to climb trees. Not that that makes much sense, but... Um, that's a possibility, um, and it's kind of his little, his little, like, cult of people, um, and they do look pretty interesting characters, and we're gonna get to see a bit more of them in a minute, this is just a general sort of overview of when you first see them in the trailer. Hour of training. A pity the boy has so much potential, but so little discipline. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I've... And here we have a shot of Adewale, which is pretty cool. He's got his, uh, assassin tire, he's much older than he was in Freedom Cry and Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, but he does look pretty badass. He's going to be an interesting character to see, and it's going to be it's going to be a shame having to kill him because, as we know in the game, you probably will most likely kill him as Shay. It makes the most amount of sense. But he does look like such a badass, and it's going to be it's going to be a shame to have to kill him. But yeah, Achilles. I mean, not Achilles. Sorry, um, Adewale. I just said Achilles. There. Achilles is actually in the trailer, but uh, Adewale there. Um, which is pretty cool. They're just talking generally about sort of Shay's character, how he's reckless and things like that. As if you listen to the audio, you can sort of work that out for yourself. Here the rest is up to you, my friend. You made me slaughter innocents! So at this point, we can see Achilles in the background. This could possibly be in the Davenport homestead, not too sure. Probably the, the main assassin hideout in this game. Um, and Shay is complaining about how they made him slaughter innocents, so maybe they shot like a missile thing off a boat and ended up destroying a whole town just to take out a few Templars. Possibly, I don't know, maybe it's misinterpretation, but it kind of puts another slant on the assassins. What did they do? We, we're obviously not going to find out until the game comes out, but we can obviously read into it somewhat, and you guys can comment down in the comments below tell me what you thought. And um, obviously Shay is like, this is completely wrong, gotta kill all the assassins, pretty much. I will not let this happen again! Now the man I once called brother is coming to hunt us all. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. So here we have Haytham talking to Shay. Now the only problem I have with Haytham being in the game is the fact that if you read the book Forsaken, surely somewhere in that book you, he would have mentioned Shay. Like it's such a big part of that kind of history that he's the one that took out all the assassins. You would have thought somewhere in Forsaken Shay would have been there. It's like he was never part of the lore, and they've just kind of invented him afterwards just to kind of make another game for previous gen, which makes, which kind of cheapens this game in a way, so that it's kind of like they've just shoved this in somewhere. Like, where, whereas you're expected to think Haytham's actually the one who took out all the assassins until suddenly they brought this game, and it's like, no, no, it was Shay. I think what they should have done is either made a game based around Haytham's life, or made the exact same game, but you play as Haytham instead of Shay. I think that would have been really, really cool to play as Haytham, because Haytham was such a great character, and to play as someone near Haytham is not as good. I really loved playing as Haytham, because you felt like this amazing badass, so I feel like that's that's something they could have done in, with the game. He was convinced he could become the best among us. I expect we will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Traitor! Achilles will see you dead! You will fail! I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. What is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? We don't have the right to decide that future. The right! 
And here we have a wonderful close-up of Achilles when he was younger. Uh, the voice sounds different. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed. It doesn't quite sound like Achilles. Whether it's a different voice actor or whether they just decided that he needed to sound different because he was younger, I'm not too sure. But Achilles is looking awesome. It's pretty cool to see some of those old characters returning. Achilles, Adewale, Haytham. Uh, I'm pretty excited for those kind of things in the game that kind of reminiscent of like the older ones. Like, not necessarily older, but previous, if that makes sense. So that's a pretty cool thing, uh, having... Uh, Achilles in the game, and I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, seeing what his role is. We have the responsibility. You've betrayed everyone you knew. We sided with our worst enemies, and for what? Someone must make amends. There we have the story trailer for AC Rogue, and I think it does look pretty interesting. Honestly, my thoughts have changed since it was originally released and announced and all that kind of stuff. Like, I thought it was going to be amazing, and then I was like, ah, it's going to be shit, and now I'm kind of like, ah, it looks kind of interesting. The story does look interesting for me. I still think Unity wins, but it does look interesting. I can't I can't knock the fact that, you, that Rogue does look pretty interesting, and I am kind of looking forward to it just a little bit. But we'll see how it ends up. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smack that like button because that'd be absolutely amazing. Comment down in the comments below. Tell me what you guys thought. And subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Be set in fire.